Alright, here's a quick video on how to overclock RTX 5080 on GPU Tweak 3. So obviously you're going to need to download and install this software first. Um, so I've already got some overclocks under vaults going on here. So let's just say you, you didn't, you know, you'd have user mode. So you, you go to user mode and you go add new. Just call this like under vault 3. Save that. <coughs> and then we want to click on uh, VF Tuner here. Now you've got a few options down here, default and driver default. So I normally just select default. So click in here on the blank space, press Control A. Now you want to go through here and find 925. At the bottom it should say 925, that's 925 millivolts. Click on that. You can see on the left it says 2497. So click and hold and drag that up to, you know, you can see the overclock going up at the top right there. I would say take it up to about plus 300. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 350. Six. Alright. Now, right click your mouse in, in anywhere in this space. Okay. Now, Find 925 again. Here, okay. Now bring your mouse down a little bit, and then hold your mouse, left mouse, and select all of that. Oh, okay, I missed 925. Yeah, I missed 925. Make sure you select 925 when you do this selection. So we see 925 is selected here. All points uh, align points down. Click that. Close that. Right click in this space again to clear that selection and apply and save and close. Now we want to overclock the memory. Pretty safe overclock, uh, like literally super safe is about 2000 here. So I like to get this as close to 2000. There you go, 2001. Easy. Apply, save, and uh, you probably want to come in here to the settings make sure it's set to start with windows and apply previous settings on program startup that way this will always apply when you start your computer now i did have a few other things to mention um technically when you overclock you should be running a benchmark before or after check the speed you know check for any artifacting but obviously i'm not doing that right now you can do that if you want make sure you're not overclocking too too much and getting any artifacting um, now I, I also like to have a custom fan curve um, it's probably not necessary with an undervolt but um, I do like to have my custom fan curve so you can do that here um, for example what I normally do is I don't know something like this basically set these both the same similar but anyway, you can do whatever you want there. Um, get some extra cooling because this overclock will run cooler than your normal. It'll run cooler than your normal uh, default settings and better performance.